Took a little bit of force, but it's in. Um, pause. <laughs> Done with the video now. Uh, we have a big problem. All right. If you guys watched yesterday's video or the video before that, and if you guys paid attention a little bit, you guys would have seen me change from a hoop to a stud, courtesy of audience member, and now the bad side of it is coming through. You can see it's not there anymore. I noticed that when I got to work this morning, yeah, this is a problem. So this is not gonna be fun, let me tell you that, because I have to put my hoop back on. Who knows if it could actually go through? Who knows if it hasn't closed up or, I don't know, I'm, I'm scared. So <laughs> it's brace for impact, kids. I like studs, I just, I don't know. It can easily come off and it's scary. Let's put this back on, shall we? And while we're doing that, we're gonna add a little bit of collar commentary because uh, we're gonna need it. Add some soap on there to just lubricate it a little bit. Here we go. Okay, we got the hole, right? Now we just gotta put it in the hole. Pause. This is a. Uh, let's help this go. Please. Have mercy on my soul. Oh, f it's not going through. It's not going through. F oh. Uh huh. Yep. Living like Larry, boy. Yep. This is this is not good. I think it closed up. Oh, and it's bleeding. Woohoo! Look at that. You see that? Yeah. Blood. Oh. Ooh. Wait, can you see it? No, you can't see that. Oh, it's fully bleeding now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hell yeah. Freaking bleed more for me. Yes, sir. This is what I wanted to wake up to today. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck. Give me a moment. Please. What up, Twitter? So, um, I'm a tit. It's, it's going through. Slowly. It's, it's closed, let me tell you that. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it's moving. On. Took a little bit of force, but it's in. Um, pause. <laughs> but well, we're good, we got it in though, so. You can see now all I have to do is just uh, click it together. God damn. Alright, that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be there for a while. Good morning all my brothers and, uh, beautiful sisters out there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, my bad. I talked to you guys a couple days ago. No, this was this was like way more than that. No, this is a, a little bit ago, like a couple weeks ago. The food that I get from Oasis, the Cajun like sausage and all that kind of stuff. I wanted to make some of my own. I got some ingredients for it. Here we are today to make it because uh, I'm hungry. So All right, let's look at the ingredients list here. So we got most important part: sausage. I don't know what flavor this is supposed to be. But, um, looks pretty good. Butter, of course. Uh, I didn't want to do the stick butter because I feel like a lighter type of butter is appropriate for this dish. This is off the dome completely, so I have no idea what to, like, I don't, I don't, I, I don't have any idea what to expect. Just kind of going along with it. So, alright, so I guess let's run down the ingredients list again. We got sausage, butter, broccoli, corn, and also seasoned Cajun, and also a little bit of lemon pepper. Like I said, I, this is, this is, this is just off the dome, ladies and gentlemen, alright? This is, I have no idea idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of putting shit together and seeing what happens. See, here's the thing, right? I don't know how much like corn and uh, broccoli I'm gonna use. I think it would be the most appropriate to steam them. You know what? We're gonna go YOLO today and we're not, we're not gonna steam them. We're just gonna wing it, all right? First things first on the real is cut up the sausage, all right? You guys can't even see me. Outside of the food, I think the most important thing you guys need to see is me. I don't know if this already tastes delicious, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. I think this is already cooked anyway, so take the sausage out. This is like Drake. That's not Drake, that's me. <laughs> see if this sausage tastes good. Yeah, not bad. Without further ado, let's do what an emo does. Cut. Oh god, this is bad. My bad. Alright, with everything cut up. Let's uh, put this on the pan. This is already pretty much heated up a little bit. I'm gonna start heating this up and maybe scorch it a little bit. Maybe. Let's give this a shot here really quickly. Um, I don't know. Just I'm gonna we're gonna try it raw. Should be pretty good. It smells like lemon. No shit. Yeah, give it a shot here. Okay, that's good. And as I mentioned, we're gonna be mixing this with the, the Cajun a little bit. And I've tried the Cajun, it, it, it tastes good. Just gonna wait until that whole thing, you know, softens up and everything. And once that's done, it's pretty easy from this point. I just gotta dump a bunch of butter, melt it, dump a bunch of seasoning, and call it a day. Mix it all together, easy. My brothers and sisters. What's up, what's going on YouTube? Wow, dude. Corey Kitchen needs to come back, man. But either way, we got food 
on deck, ladies and gentlemen. This right here is what I've been excited for for a little bit now. Cajun butter, lemon pepper, sausage, broccoli, and corn. This is heaven on earth. I've been wanting to make this for a long time now, and this does look exactly like the, the Oasis. Now, the only problem is, or the only wonder, does this taste the same as Oasis? I mean, without further ado, I mean, there's no bull****. I'm just gonna, just gonna eat. I mean, what the fuck? This guy right here may or may not be the greatest cook of all time. It's an easy recipe anyway, but like, it's so easy, but it's good. God damn. It's unhealthy, of course, but like, but god damn. Oh my god. Yeah, Oasis, I got your I, I got your recipe figured out. But all the ingredients right here, obviously this is a lot more than what Oasis offers. Taking that into consideration, the ingredients probably totaled up to maybe $15. That's a good price. This is a good price for it. Alright, with this whole order, this totals up to about $20. About $20. Now keep in mind, obviously, whenever I buy the seasonings, obviously I'm not going to pile on all the seasonings into one dish, right? So take this price with a grain of salt, no pun intended, but just all around a much better value, and obviously I I think we already all know that home cook is a much better value than restaurant or whatever but yeah man if you guys ever have the cravings of uh having a cajun butter sausage or whatever just like oasis does it's really easy corn broccoli sausage butter seasonings and also add potatoes in there if you want to Hey, by the way, I just wanted to quickly show you guys, this karaoke machine that we've had for the longest time is absolute dog shit. We got a new thing, all right? We got this thing. This is like a receiver, or this is like a little, it's a mixer, right? This little system is with these two microphones, and then it connects from here, takes the audio from here, and then mixes it up with the microphone right here, and then puts it in a speaker. It's a good little machine. Yeah, I'm more excited to sing up here, you know what I mean? It's just about your face, your lips that I miss Your sweet little eyes that stare at me and miss When I know I got you with me When there's a dark storm on your horizon And you think you can <laughs> Good morning everyone. Uh, well, this is the next morning. I'm editing this an hour before this video uploads. I just wanted to give you this message really quickly. The next part of the video was supposed to be me ranting about the fish and like, well not the fish themselves, but the fish tank and how it's like struggling. But it was really blurry, so I'm just gonna redo it now. Pretty much, let me show you guys what's, what's going on here. Yeah. It's not good. For me to be able to solve this issue, I just have to keep changing the water, I think. I think that's the only chance I got because if I don't, then obviously they're gonna they're gonna suffocate and everything. And um, if I do, at least I'm fulfilling my role as a good fish father. I use the dipstick or whatever to test the uh, the, the, the chemical comp- chemical comp- I don't even know, but like, I tested the water pretty much and uh, everything is all good except for nitrite. Always. It's always the f nitrate that doesn't ph levels decent ammonia is good nitrates fine but it's just nitrite hey, is it nitrate Hold on. yeah nitrite it's always that damn nitrite that's always just screwing me over and i don't really know what to do because whenever i replace the water i'm doing every step correctly you know what i mean changing the water of course and rinsing everything pretty well i'm using the conditioner and hell i'm using the freaking bacteria stuff the whole thing about the bacteria is supposed to like keep down the ammonia and uh, nitrite levels but it's just not doing that right i don't know if a green tinge is a good thing when it comes to the fish tank but i can only assume that it's not i'm just gonna have to replace the water
water in tomorrow's episode for you guys uh which for me it's it's just it's it's in a couple hours so that's gonna have to be the move because I, I i don't know what else to do what am i supposed to do it's just annoying you know but it is what it is though i'll figure something out for it but like i said yeah i just didn't want to make a make the clip really blurry so instead of forcing you guys to watch it i'm just gonna re-record this uh, the, the bit so all right that's about it thanks for watching y'all good night uh, turn around now I got options, begging me to go, but I tell her to stop it. Always got the key in my heart is the lock it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a pro, but you're really a novice.